All right, folks, this is another video. Today, VMware did announce that there was a critical vulnerability that's impacting vCenter Server. This is going back to vCenter Server 6.5 to 6.7, 7, and then to 8. So given 6.7 and 6.5 have been out of general support for some time, this is so critical that we are actually releasing a patch we've released actually a patch for those 6x versions so what i'm going to instruct today is hopefully this video will help admins at any level help drive through patching going through the process of patching the vcenter so as you can see here i have the vmsa advisory up here be sure to always subscribe as well for signing up for these advisories once they are released and at the bottom of it, you'll find that right here, the listed supported vCenter servers are available as well as VMware Cloud Foundation and the addressed versions. So be sure to always follow that. Now, one of the one advice I want to provide is going out to download. As you can tell, you can go back right now and go to download 6.5. It's U3V, and this is only vCenter server. 6.7 is T, 7.0, the latest is going to be O, and that actually was released about the end of September, and then finally 8.0 U2 for 8. Now, you can go through downloads this way. I went ahead and took it a different route where I just went to products and accounts, product patches, and I selected 7.0 U3 O because today we're going to be patching the 7 environment. Now, Something different I'm doing today is my vCenter does go out and talk to the internet over port 80. Some environments that are sensitive, SCADA environments for really highly controlled environments that might not be going out to the internet, you may want to go out, download this patch offline, you, whether you're going to put it up there through a controlled jump box, removable device, whatever the case may be for you to get that ISO file, right? So what I wanted to actually do today is go through and patch it manually rather than the traditional stage and install with my vCenter going out to download it. In my lab environment, of course, I do have accessibility to the internet, so I can kick this off right now, but I wanted to show everyone a different way of going about it. So the infrastructure where my actual vCenter for this sits at is right here, and I've got the edit settings VM. Now I've already downloaded this file. It's about six gigs. And I've already uploaded to a data store. Whereas, and, and like such as an NFS share, which the host that my vCenter is running on has access to that. So I'll go ahead and go over here. Browse out. I have a folder here, vCenter patches. I'm going to select that 70U30 ISO. Click OK. Want to get it connected. I don't think I'm missing. We'll just check connect on power on. And it should be mounted. Now, here I'm logged into the vCenter's VAMI, the vCenter Appliance Management Interface. And I'm logged in with the local root account. So what I can do is come over here, click check updates, check CD-ROM. What this is doing right now is qu querying, checking that CD-ROM that's mounted to the VM. And that ISO is part of it. So from here, I will go ahead and kick off a stage and install. We'll actually do a run pre-update check. Now, of course, one minor or major thing to mention is backups are important. I will actually take a snapshot here of this vCenter. Seven. Do not need to include the memory. And we'll just say by Sargon. So we got our snapshot taken care of. We'll come over to the VAMI. Our pre check passed. Fantastic. Now we've got some estimated minutes. We're not gonna obviously run the video for that long, but we'll go ahead and do stage and install. Let 
accept the good old EULA. We're going to validate that the vCenter is backed up. Once the pre-update checks are complete. So, of course, vCenter wants to make sure, yes, you did back up the vCenter server. So from here, we're just going to click Finish and let the update proceed. While our update is running and coming up to completion here, I did want to make a couple of points. If you're working with multiple data centers, just be mindful of, let's say you're at data center A and you've got your bits loaded on A and it's trying to, let's say, copy across a certain site, right? You know, let's say that ISO is accessible at another data center and it's trying to copy over to the V center. I'm sorry, at another data center. So just be mindful there when you're doing this again. Um, ensure you are taking all your backups. You've got a maintenance window. Uh, hopefully you're not patching this in the middle of where backups are taking place. As you know, backup provider solutions do integrate with vCenter Direct. So when vCenter's down, there will be uh, issues with backups and you don't want to risk that. All right, so we've waited some time now, and as you can see, our VAMI is at 94%. Now, I've kind of seen this in the past. I held off on refreshing just so to see if it'll do it live, right? However, on the other screen over, I'm in my vCenter. I'm logged in, and my build here is the correct build. This one ending in 613 is U3O. And then you'll see here that it says updates available. While that is great, it's true because there's going to be updates to 8.0 that are available as well. Now, it looks also as if there's a database entry or something that has not ref completed yet. But let's go over here and actually refresh and see what happens. We'll refresh our VAMI. Okay, so it is still completing at 94%. We'll let it uh, ride out while we did our check-in. All right, coming back to this. So highly advised as always, be patient. Don't be the impatient admin. I'm guilty of that myself. It stuck at that 94% for quite some time. So I would definitely plan an hour to two hours just to kind of give you time to fail back. Uh, you also want to factor in time to test. And finally, we did get to the desired version and build number. And here's our VAMI. And of course, if we go to update in VAMI, you can kind of validate this because you should not see any other update available because we will be at the latest one until, of course, there's ever, you know, another one that comes out. So, and you would not see 8.0 updates in case you're wondering why is there no version 8 in here. You won't see that here. And then if we come over to the vCenter and under our update planner section where we went to, you'll see that the only update available or upgrade, right, it's to go to 8.0. And we are at the latest version of 7, as you could see here. So we're at our desired version. So a couple of house, cl house cleaning after you've performed your validations, please ensure to come back to the VM and set the CD drive back to the client device. It should disconnect automatically. And then whenever you feel comfortable with the change, be sure to come in here and delete the snapshot. You definitely want to get rid of all that. And then once that is done, you should be good to go and you should be now secured. I hope this I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe to the YouTube video and check out my blog at kizron.com. Good luck and cheers.